tutorial time Get your face and precious in tutorial time Let's just gonna show you how to paint your son Starting in five, four, three, two, one Hello everyone. Today we are painting a Tau Fire Warrior, Tau Sept. Here's your paint list. First we start off with a gray primer and then we'll use Snow White to build up our highlights. Then we use amber, which is diluted one part paint to 10 parts airbrush medium. And just lay it on little by little. You don't want to overdo it and get spiders and have it pool up on you. But you're just building up the color, keeping those shades. Then we use a mix of amber and snow white mixed one to one and refine the highlights. Now it's time to base coat the cloth, and I use Raven Black to do that. Now the base coat for the cloth is applied using Muddy Brown. Vallejo liquid gold is used to hit that little circle thing on the front of their gun. I'm not sure what it is. All you towel guys can help me out. Then we use Vallejo Liquid Silver to hit the silver around the towel marking. Raven Black is then used to paint the shoulder marking. Charged stone is used to highlight the edges of all the black areas.
To highlight the yellow, I use a mixture of Mummy and Snow White, one-to-one -one mix. Use the side of the brush instead of the tip to get the edges when possible. It's so much easier. With all the pieces assembled, we're ready for the oil wash, and that begins with a gloss coat. This will protect the paint underneath. It'll provide less surface tension for the wash to flow. Now we apply the oil wash, which is a one-to-one -one mix of ivory black and burnt umber thinned with mineral spirits. Now oil washes kind of dirty things up. This is the fastest way to line all the details. But if you were to go in and actually use acrylic paint and line all those little details, it would look a lot cleaner. But in the interest of speeding things up, we apply this on everything. Then just getting a cotton bud wet with water, dabbing most of the moisture out of the cotton bud. You can pretty much wipe the surfaces clean without disturbing the oil. And this is after I blue dry the model for about a minute to help the oil wash dry. And it looked dry to me, so that's when you want to clean everything up. Now we use Snow White to get the lenses. I'm just creating kind of a shiny effect. And then we use Nebula Red, which is going to tint the white and the black a little bit and make it look more like a lens. And for the final step, we will add the tau set marking. And I don't know if this is correct, I just followed what was on the box. I looked at the tau alphabet and I didn't see exactly what these letters were or if they are in fact letters. So I just had to look at the box art. And when you're done with this step, throw your flat varnish of choice, base it, and you're good to go.
Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.